senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics. I started our conversation by getting his reaction to how the U.S. markets responded to the sell-off that began in Asia. Well, clearly investors are nervous, and as usual, as Eastern concerns, we have to explain it. So uh, clearly, uh, also, there are concerns about recession, but they're not the only one. There is a broader climate of uncertainty, which is also uh, partially linked, perhaps, to the election cycle. Uh, there are concerns about uh, technology and what exactly is, uh, the kind of value that AI is creating. So I think we have seen the trigger for market uh, reactions that um, we can discuss what the trigger actually was, whether it was more to just report more about Japan. Uh, but, uh, but, but what the dominates has really did sense that investors are nervous. Uh, there's a lot of volatility, and it didn't take much to uh, trigger something big in terms of market So, so well, let's talk about that because when we look at the, the downside of the market, Japan was really hit. The, the Nikkei 225 really dropped. The, the benchmark of the U.S. shall we say stock market only dropped 900 points and closed at 38,000. Forty thousand. So the percentage-wise, in the U.S. drop on the benchmark market really wasn't that much. We're, we're just seeing more, more about the U.S. economy influencing others and, and the strengths of others like like Japan and Asia. I mean, one way to look at this is that investors have taken their gains from uh, you know stock market increases, uh, stock prices increases in recent years. In recent years. So when you have this movement in the market, that uh, there's a feeling that now is the time to uh, take your back and maybe invest it in something less risky, um, then there's a herd effect, right? Uh, you don't want to be the last one to do that. You the first one, and uh, everybody's rushing for the exit. I think we, we had a little bit of that today. Um, so we, uh, perhaps we're really cautious, but very cautious in terms of uh, you know, putting uh, something on it in terms of how the market sees the U.S. economy or the future of AI or any other of these substantial things. I'm getting for the market correction, typical also in the summer. Nothing happens in the middle of summer, summer when, uh, you know, there aren't taking people around, uh, around the trading desk. Uh, and not necessarily that much driven by fundamentals. Nicholas Ferron is a senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics. Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. In other business news, a U.S. federal judge ruled on Monday that Alphabet's Google broke the law with its monopoly over online searches and related ads. It's the U.S. Justice Department's first victory against a monopoly in more than 20 years. This decision is a significant win for the Justice Department, which had sued the search engine giant over its control of about 90% of the online search market and 95% of smartphones. Hurricanes Debbie made landfall as a Category 1 storm in the Big Bend region of Florida's Gulf Coast early Monday morning with heavy rains and winds of up to 128 kilometers per hour. The hurricane center predicted Debbie would move offshore into the Atlantic by Tuesday evening and then re-strengthen and come back inland to unleash torrential rains on the coasts of Georgia and South Carolina later in the week. In Africa, Obadishu residents marched on Monday on a beach where dozens were killed last week in one of Somalia's deadliest attacks in recent years. Where's David Doyle has more. <laughs> Seven civilians were killed and 212 injured in an explosion at a popular beach restaurant. Mogadishu resident Khadija Muhammad Ali said what took place was a national disaster and that someone needs to be held accountable. Oh. Oh. since October 2022. Then, spring targets were detonated at a busy market intersection, killing at least 100 and wounding 300 more. There was no immediate
claim of responsibility for the Lido beach attack by the Al-Qaeda 